Hi, everybody. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday is about the website flippity.net. The address is on your screen. If I click on it, it'll bring up a variety of tools we can use. They all use Google Sheets. Each one comes with a demonstration and instructions. But if you want to use one of them, you click on template. So I'm going to use the random name picker here. This is the one that I use the most in my classroom. So if I click template, it's going to ask if I want to make a copy of that document. So you just go ahead and click make a copy. It puts this document into your Google Drive folder. And then it brings up a pre-populated list with some demo names. I'm just going to delete all them and then paste in my class roster from uh, my eSchool. Uh, once you've pre-populated this list with your students' names, you don't have to worry about the photo tab. Uh, I don't know if anyone would use that, but I, I assume it would just use the kids' pictures in the tool as well. Uh, there's a tab at the bottom that says get the link here. This is where you actually go to use the Flippity tool. Um, you can't use the Flippity tool, however, and it says here in red, don't forget to publish your spreadsheet first. You can't use the Flippity tool until you go to File, Publish to the Web, and then you click Publish. All this does is makes it so that this Google spreadsheet is accessible by uh, the website Flippity. No one's going to be able to find this document. The address here is ridiculously long. It just makes it so Flippity can find it and use it. So once I've published it, I can close out of this. And then I can click on this link that's come up. And to click on it, you just click on it and then actually click on the button below it. And it'll bring up the Flippity tool for random name picker. You can see here that this is a wheel that randomly chooses someone from your list. It has an option to just pick a kid at random, and then you can click the arrows to go through and pick more people. And it will not repeat until you get to the end. The lineup does something similar, except uh, it shows who's next, so the kids can you know, prepare for being next. Uh, there's tools to put kids in groups of two, three, four, or five. So if I want groups of five, I just click on it. There you go, groups of five. You can see that since I have 24 kids, you know, one of the groups doesn't have five. There's a randomize button here. If I want to reshuffle, I just click it. Now all my groups are different. You can do the same instead of having groups of five. You can say, I want five teams. It'll make five teams. I want three teams. It'll make three teams. Same thing, there's the shuffle button here. Under more, you have the option to do bigger groups or more teams. You also have the option to um, send the send the names to this thing called fun with words that's another flippity tool i'm not going to go into great detail with but i do want to show you that when you click it it just makes your kids names kind of cool with artwork this one's nature it does asl american sign language video game font blocks uh, so maybe you'd find a use for that um, i use this in my classroom all the time the kids love it and uh, i think it's really easy to use if you have any questions feel free to reach out to one of us and we'll be glad to help have a good day and thank you for watching.